All right, friends, welcome back to the Build Show. If you don't know, we actually moved our HQ from my construction office. We were getting too big. We've got our own studio space now. This is actually sort of a temporary studio with plans to build a bigger one here in Austin, Texas. But on this video in particular, we're gonna be talking with master plumber, Eric Ani. He's out on a job site where we've got some problems with the PVC drainage and we've got some misaligned drains. But on this video, whether you're a plumber, a builder, an inspector, maybe even a homeowner, Eric's gonna give you a lot of good insider knowledge to understand the PVC drain waste vent system. Fantastic video. With that being said, today's build show with master plumber, Eric Ani. Let's get going. Hey, it's not easy even for a professional plumber to get the exact right angles on drainage piping. I'm in my photographer Tim's basement here in Minnesota. He's got some plumbing he's been working on for a new renovation in this 1940s home. But as you can see, not everything is going together exactly the way he wants it. And we're going to cut some things apart and put it back together so it comes out just the way we want it. All right, so I want to eliminate this, uh, this mission coupling or fern co. It's a banded coupling. It's got a stainless steel band with clamps and a rubber uh, inner coupling holding the pipe together on either end. There's nothing really wrong with it. I just, I don't prefer to have these on any drainage system unless you're needing it to transition from one kind of pipe to another. But as you can see this angle, these pipes aren't square to each other. There's way too much pitch or fall on this short section of pipe. It doesn't meet up with this. So we're gonna just get rid of this right now uh, I've got it undone, you just use a 5 16 driver. Next is I'm actually gonna be cutting this fitting, this little, this street 22 and a half degree fitting, offset fitting, out of this Y. This is a two inch PVC Y. The reason I'm gonna cut it out, I'm gonna remove the section of pipe that's inside of this hub with a special tool uh, so that we can reuse it. We don't have to cut back any further. This is gonna be really our starting point and our ending point. We're gonna straighten this all out so it's the right angle. Pretty simple stuff. I'm just gonna start cutting and go at it. So now, basically, we've disassembled this. You can see that drop down. It's because the pitch and everything was just completely off, wasn't supported completely. I did remove one hanger that Tim had on there. Pull this off here. Now we've got a perfectly reusable Fernco coupling there. We'll set aside. All right, now, this is the cool part, in my opinion. I've shown this video, this in past videos. I've shown this tool in past videos. What it is, is made by a company called Reed and it's aluminum. It chucks up into my drill and it's got one carbide tooth right here. And this is all machined to fit perfectly inside the inside diameter of this uh, Schedule 40 PVC. It works also on ABS as well. As long as it's Schedule 40, um, in imperial si pipe sizes, one inch and a half, two inch, things like that. This is a two inch, it's made for two inch pipe only. And I'm actually gonna use this tool and the drill to shave out and remove that PVC from the hub. Now, uh, if you've seen videos like this in the past, you've seen tools like this, there are a few of them. This particular one is the best one in my opinion. Uh, and it works perfectly in that when I'm done, I will not have cut too far into the fitting. And so I can completely rely on the piping connection because it will have removed only the pipe and nothing from the fitting itself. So really cool. Uh, and it makes for a nice fit up when we're all done. So I'm gonna get started on that and everything, it's gonna fly. It's definitely why I'm wearing my glasses today. All right. Just like that, that's how easy it is. Now we, what we have done is we removed the PVC and only the PVC pipe. We've done nothing to the fitting itself. As you can see, it just shaves it off. Really cool. 
like that. And now I'm going to have a perfect fit up and I can glue and rely on that joint itself. So let me move on to the next step. All right, so I'm going to come straight out of here with, with a straight piece of pipe. The last uh, setup was with that 22 degree offset right away, and that's not going to work. We want to come straight out and get past this joy space where this pipe is at already. And it's, there's some math involved with this, but I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm going to just hold the fitting and measure with my tape real quick. I'll get a nice reliable measurement that way nine inches or 23 centimeters. We could dry fit this real quick before we commit to anything and just verify that everything fits up the way we want it. Okay, so we want to make sure that this has pitch on it. In order to do that, let me see if we can get our level on it. We're going to have to hold it up quite a bit like that. And then we're just going to measure real quick off this wall. About 29 and a quarter. Yep, where it was in a quarter inch like that. That's gonna be nice because once this kit's put together, it's never all the way inserted. Will be great. I like that. So I'm gonna get gluing. We're using two-step glue. We in Minnesota we are required to use primer, purple in color, uh, or contrasting in color. I don't know a different color primer except for clear and then uh, PVC cement. So that's a code requirement here. If, uh, if it's not where you live, that's great. Don't at me in the videos. I get enough comments about that on my videos. It's crazy how many people don't understand that I don't have an option to use the UV, UV um, PVC primer or the clear primer. It's just not, it's not allowed by code here. All right, so I like to keep the primers clean as possible. And because I know how far it inserts on the pipe, no need for more primer than that. And we always go in the order we're going to assemble. go we'll start here pretty basic stuff gluing together pvc it's not very exciting i'll admit but a little bit of turn there make sure you got good connection hold it for a second i like to wipe things down if i can keep it clean i try not to have too many dribbles all right And if you read the Odie can of glue, it says D go twice. I never knew that until recently, until I visited the factory. That was fascinating. Check the pitch on this. Make sure we're not too much, but we got to have half a bubble. And then we got to hold this up and get pitch on it. Okay. So while I sit here and we wait for this glue to dry a little bit, let me show you a little trick. I got to use primer. I got to use glue. I don't like having two separate cans because this primer stuff is super messy. And if it drops and spills, it makes a gigantic unfixable mess. So in order to just keep everything orderly and usable, my estimation, I've done this zip ties, I zip tie my cans together. If you're looking for a, the tip of the day from the pro plumber this just makes your life a little bit easier i see guys duct tape them together and stuff like that that works except for eventually the glue and the primer and everything breaks down the duct tape the, the zip ties seem to last longer than the cans ever will all right so we're good there we're all glued up and i don't think we're gonna have any major movement maybe we hold it just another few seconds it's the only downside of working with pvc is you gotta Gonna be a little patient, 
But we're gonna have pitch here. We're gonna have the proper pitch coming out of this fitting so we don't have to worry about that. This next part is actually the easiest part. So what I've gotta do is I've gotta get from this elevation to this elevation. I'm just gonna use two fittings. So Tim did have a double offset with a 45 before, okay, as you can see. Um, but these had to be spun in two different directions. And what that does is actually changes the 45 degree angle to something that isn't really used in plumbing. Any, It's beyond a 45 and not quite a 60. So it just doesn't really work. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take these two 45 degree angles and join up the two pipes um, pretty basic like this. So that's basically what we're gonna end up with. This water line is gonna have to rest for the time being on top of our drain line until we can get this thing re-secured uh, because it is kind of just flopping in the breeze there a little bit. So there you go, that's what we're gonna end up with. So two more cuts of pipe, some very simple assembly and we're gonna be back in business and everything will be the right angle at proper 45 degree offsets. And that's perfect, it's what we want for drainage uh, and we wanna maintain the proper pitch so that we don't have too much. You know, they make some really good glues that are one step. I wish we could use those here in Minnesota. A little less messy. You know, you want to make sure you get this right. And the reason why is we're gluing this all together. There's really no going back unless you want to start all over. Try to avoid that. Well, it turned out nice. All right, so I'm going to hold this together for just a second. Make sure we're all good here. Then I'm gonna check this angle here. So fitting to fitting, I'm gonna use the hub. And I'm putting my torpedo on there to make sure that I've got my quarter inch, I've got graduations on the hub there, or on the vial that show me I've got a quarter inch per foot pitch from here, which is required. Uh, even though, even if it's a short piece, you still have to have that, that proper fall. And then same thing here. This had too much fall on it before. That offset piece was not made it up properly uh, at that rubber, at that mission coupling. And now we're perfect. We've got the right pitch on the pipe coming from the shower. We've got the proper offset down and looking straight into that Y so that we're gonna have a proper drainage path without having too much fall or the wrong angles. So there you go, pretty simple. I, you know, that tool that we, we fixed that hub or removed that pipe from the hub, that's a lifesaver for plumbers. The one I use is a little bit expensive. Maybe not everybody's gonna use it if it's DIY, but if you're doing plumbing every day, you're watching this, you're a plumber, uh, or you do HVAC work and you're working with maybe retrofit on old venting and stuff like that, that's a tool worth owning. And then just uh, getting your proper fitting pitches together, using the right fitting combinations. Uh, is what's going to make for a better installation. We wanted to address this today in Tim's house because he's got an inspection coming up on his drainage lines. I saw it and I thought, you know, it's not quite right. Let's make that a little bit better. And I just wanted to show you that it can be done uh, using just the right fittings and keeping it simple. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if you want to know how I did the math on this, I've got another video that shows you how to calculate this piece of pipe using a very simple offset formula, very basic math, uh, go bring you back to just about eighth grade, simple stuff. Uh, hopefully you find that useful and that's right here on the Build Show Network. Thanks for watching, have a good day. Guys, I love Eric Ani. He is such an amazing teacher. He's also really prolific when it comes to producing content. 
He's been on the Build Show now for about three or four years. So if you don't know Eric Ani, go over to thebuildshow.com. You'll see a little menu at the top. They call that a hamburger menu. Click that and you'll see all the Build Show experts on there. If you hit that button, scroll down to Eric Ani, you'll come to his landing page. You can hear his origin story, how he started actually in a program at high school that landed him only a few years later as a master plumber. He's also publishing prolifically on Instagram, at Mechanical Hub. Eric's amazing. You should absolutely be following his work. And if you're not a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button below. You know, we've got normally Tuesday and Friday content, but the last, I don't know, six months or a year, we've been blowing it up. We've been doing a lot of series content. We've got a lot going on here at The Build Show. With that being said, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.